So continue on with the IO Link uh, demonstration. We're now going to look at how we get the IO Link Master into Studio 5000. So we're going to show you the on machine version, but you could actually add the point .io version if you wish. So to add the IO Link on machine version, we simply create a demo uh, Studio 5000 project with the 5380 PLC in there. Again, it could be any PLC, we're just using the one that's in my demo case. Um, you then add it as a, you would a normal Ethernet module. So you right click on Ethernet, new module. And then if you type in IOL, IO link, you should see there, there's the A channel on Machine Master. So we can click there, click create. Uh, give it a name, so we'll call it on Machine. IO link. Uh, its IP address is 33. So in here you'll see it says channel 0 IO link, channel 1 IO link, channel 2 IO link and so forth. Um, so this module can actually have eight IO link channels. So I know at the moment I'm only going to use one of them as IO link. So what I can do is then disable the rest of them. But what you could also do is you could use them as normal IO. So you could have a digital output on the on the on the second channel of the port one. So you know before we said it was four there was four connections on the unit and use a T splitter. Well if I check that to digital input for example, if I use a T splitter on, on the first port, this the, the one half of that would be an IO link channel and the other half would be a digital input. But for our example, I'm just going to disable them because I'm not using them. But it does give you that flexibility that if you have got an IO link set, sorry, a, a sense that's not IO link enabled, you could use the IO link uh, master. And then as you then get an IO link center, enable it in here, then it, it would give you the added benefits. So you set it up as you normally would. So you check the data of your module that you have. Uh, mine is a vision two. Yeah. That should be fine. Um, and then click OK. Yes, so that then creates your module. What we're going to do now um, is go into IO Link. So you, these are the normal uh, tabs you'd have for a normal Ethernet module that you'd add into your project. But now we go into IO Link. So this will be where you see different. So what it's done there is because we've enabled channel zero, it's now allowing me to you know, actually put a sensor into channel zero. So you come into the screen, then click change. You can then go into change device. So this is where you then look for what's called an IODD file. So what this is, is basically like an EDS file for an IO link sensor. So what you'll be able to see there is we have all the Adam Bradley sensors already included, but you'll see there's some third party ones that I've added to my project before. So again, if you've got a third party sensor, you then get the IODD file from the manufacturer, come down to register IODD. It'll be an XML file and you add it into the project and then it will then appear in this library here. So this example, I'm going to add the 42EF um, sensor that we have. So if I go to photo electric sensor, 42EF, uh, and mine is a DJ, DD, sorry, D2J back, D2J back, which is that one there, version 1, and it's an F4, so 42EF, T, D, D, DJ back. F4. So that's my photoelectric sensor. Click create. And then it's added it into the project. So what you can see here is, you know, I said before in the demo before we had the keying. So it said exact match. You can then say uh, disabled. So it wouldn't give you that issue, that error message we had on the demo before where it was saying wrong sensor. So it's up to you if you would like it to, to do that or not. Um, process data. So what this does here is as per normal studio, when you add in a um, so you added in the card or something like that, it would then give you a, a UDT data type for this within your controller tags. So because we've got triggered margin, proximity, gain and signal, I will then get a tag in here, I'll show you in a moment, for this channel with triggered margin, proximity, gain and signal. But I could then cha change it to be different things if I wish, so I could have a temperature, um, you know, it, so it's up to yourself what you want to get out in your process data. So we'll leave it as default. Click OK. This here says it's going to change the uh, definition. So basically, what's going to do is it's going to change the controller tag layout for the IO Link Master because I've, I've now added this in. Uh, yeah. So now that's added in there. You can then click, go back into IO Link, click on there, and then you've got some parameters for that sensor already in here. You'll see there's some 
variables in here at the moment they don't they you can't do a lot of things because these are actually what happens when it goes online so we'll, we'll, we'll go online in a second and show you what you can do with these uh, but you can see they've got parameter parameters that you can now set for the sensor uh, directly through this window you haven't got to you know do a message instruction to the sensor which you can do which i'll show you later on a, di on a different demo i'll show you how we do the um there's a the to turn the led on to locate where it is so the led uh, location led there disabled well, i'll show you in a moment you can use this in when you're online and it actually turn the locate led on but i'll show you how you do it from software where we did in the demo before where you could toggle it from a button so we can do what's called a message instruction to the sensor which will then toggle this bit on and off from the sensor so if we come out of here and go to controller tags so you've now got your IO-Link data type created from this module. If we go to inputs and channel zero, you'll see we've got channel zero triggered, channel zero, margin low, proximity and gain. They were the bits that, you know, in that drop down menu you selected. So you can now tag straight away in your software from that Boolean bit to say when that sensor has been triggered, that will go high. Simple as that. So if we go online now, I can show you what the other features are within the IO link. So if we go, we we'll have to download because it's actually a new, new project I've just created. So if we go to uh, who active, I think there's a path. So you can see it's actually got a smart machine demo in there at the moment. So we're going to overwrite that with this, this demo we've just made. Right, so we're online. If we go back into the IO link um, setup again in the module, Oops. you should see now we should be able to change these. So if I go down to like locator LED disabled, I should be able to click it enabled. enabled as soon as I click apply you won't see because there's no web camera set up but it should then turn the location IDs on on that sensor which I can tell you it has I mean you can't see but that's what it's done so you can now change parameters now live from your sensor directly through this window so in the next demo I'll show you how we can do message instructions to these variables from your program directly but if you do want to just set up something quickly in a sense, such as a threshold, you could just come in here and, and do it directly. So you there, set, set point threshold, you could type in a value in there directly. Apply, that would then save it to the sensor in the master itself and as part of your project. Um, and that's it, simple.